Axis Asynchronous Sequential Network. This is the second module, or second chapter for the syllabus. Uh, this is Asynchronous Sequential Network and this section deals entirely with the Asynchronous Sequential Network. Uh, in the previous chapter we discussed about Locked Synchronous Sequential Network. This is Asynchronous. This is the general structure of Asynchronous Sequential Network. So as usual we have a combination of logic and then some memory element. In synchronous sequential circuit, with this combination of logic, we have flip-flops are the memory units and that are cloaked flip-flop. But what is the difference in between this asynchronous and synchronous? In asynchronous, in, with this combination of logic, we have a delay element. Okay, we have delay unit. Or you can use, instead of this delay, you can use flip-flop. But the flip-flop should be uncloaked. Okay? So that this is a feedback path we know. So in this feedback path normally we use either delay element or non-clocked flip-flop. That means latch. So this is the structure of uh, asynchronous sequential network. X1, X2, X, etc, Xn are the inputs. Z1, Z2, etc, Zm are the inputs. And we take a feedback path through a delay element. Here it is asynchronous means there is no clock like that. So this output y1, y2, yp, these are taken to a delay element and that is feedback to the input. Okay. So the difference is this is capital y1, capital y2, capital yp, this is small y1, y2, etc, yp. That is the difference. What is the difference between this capital y1 and capital small y? x1, etc are the input variables. It is called the input states. z1, etc, zm are the uh, output variable this is a dm okay this is is a dm and the output variables or out we call it as output states small y1 y2 yp are the present state or present state variables capital y1 y2 yp are the next state variables okay that is the difference so this y1, y2, yp are the next state. This is the present state. So this is actually a delay element. Output is taken to a delay element. After a time delay, it gives to the input. So this is the present state. This is the next state. Okay. Why it is called a next state? This is the delay element and its output is the present state. Okay. And this output is changed from this to this after a delay. So this is the input, this is the next state and next state is waiting for a time delay. After time delay this next state gets updated and this becomes the present state. Okay, this That means this y1, y2, yp are waiting to get into the output or get into the memory unit. These are the memory unit we can call. So y1, y2 are the next state and next state is waiting for a time delay and after that time delay that next state becomes the present state ok so when y1 equal to cap, small y1 equal to capital y1 we can call it as present state equal to next state <coughs> and this is also the general structure combination logic we have n number of flip flops this is the excitation this is the present state this is also called this excitation also called a next state why because <coughs> see the Output is taken as excitation to the delay element. Here the excitation as well as the uh, next state both are same only. So while drawing the state table, excitation and uh, that uh, transition table both are same for this kind of circuits. If we are using a single delay element, if it is a flip flop SR or JK flip flop like that, then we have to separately write it. But here in this circuit, we can write in a single, both are same. So that's about asynchronous sequential circuit. So for asynchronous sequential network, memory blocks consist of clocked flip-flop or synchronizing clock signal in case of synchronous sequential circuits. For synchronous sequential circuits, memory block consists of clocked flip-flop or synchronous clock signal. But for asynchronous sequential network, memory block is a time delay device or unclocked flip-flop. For this asynchronous, this can be a time delay device or unclocked flip-flop this is the analysis of this is a question I am taking 
आयले कुछ यूनिवर्सिटी दे दे माइट बे दे आर आस्किंग यूनिवर्सिटी प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग एनालाइज द असिंग्रम सीक्वेंस ऐसा ही कुछ लाइज दैट देन दे आर गिवन ऐसा ही कुछ वी हैव टू एनालाइज दिस ऐसा ही कुछ दैट मींस वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द एक्सेटेशन ट्रांसिशन टेबल सेट टेबल फ्लोर टेबल फ्लोर डायग्राम लाइक दैट सो द हाउ टू एनालाइज दिस फर्स्ट व्हेन यू गो टू सर्किट फर्स्ट यू शुड राइट द एक्सप्रेशंस आउटपुट एक्सप्रेशन एंड एक्सेटेशन एक्सप्रेशन हियर द एक्सेटेशंस आर y1 y2 एंड y1 कैपिटल y1 कैपिटल y2 आर द नेसेसिटेट स्मॉल y1 y2 आर द प्रेजेंट स्टेट इज इट इज द आउटपुट सो कैपिटल y1 y2 इज द एक्सेटेशन आल्सो ओके सो दिस इज द सर्किट this is the expression for this circuit you write this circuit draw the circuit and then try to find the x uh, y1 y2 and this set it is very simple just add and multiply with the respect to this and and or gate so this is the expression for y1 this is for y2 this is for z expression so next stage is you have to write the excitation and the transition excitation table then transition table but in this case both the excitation and the transition tables are same why because here the uh, excitations are y1 and y2 this this is nothing but the next state also why because there won't be any other inputs to this if in the case of a flip flop there is this excitation apart from the excitation we have uh, that uh, x1 s2 inputs but here both excitation and in next state both are same that's why I am writing both are in a single column. Excitation bar next state, or you can write in another way. First you draw excitation table, then you can write the state next state table. Both are same only. That's why I written like a slash symbol here. Excitation bar transition table. So for that, first uh, present state, then excitation or next state, then output. But this is not the case. If I am using a Suppose if I am using flip flops are here, then this is not the case. You have to write separately the excitation table and transition table. That you know. So present state. This is the present state. This is the excitation or next state output. Excitation or next state are y1, y2. Outputs are is the for different inputs. Inputs are x1, s2. Y output are x1, s2 combinations. Okay. See x1, s2 has here here. Okay. So present the set is y1, y2. What are the combinations? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What about for 0, 0? Y1, y2, 0, 0. X1, x2, 0, 0. What is next state? You just simply substitute here the values of x1, y1, x2, y2. Then you will get y1, y2, z. So like that way you completely fill up this table. So you will get y1, y2 for 0, 0 input, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. You will get a complete this. Similarly, for z equation, you substitute the value of y1, y2 and x1, x2. You will get all these values for the corresponding different combinations of x1, x2. So that's about uh, excitation table. Now the thing is, look at here. Uh, here it is a non-clocked flip flop or delay element day means it is waiting for a delay. Okay. First, uh, so this is the case. See capital Y one Y two are the next state. Y small Y one Y two is the present state. If both are equal, then we can say that the system is stable. Okay. This. This should be equal to this y because after a delay, there is no process happens. So the delaying process is happened in this block. So this is should be equal. That means this is k. This came into the input after a delay. This transfer to output. That means both are equal. Then we can say that the system is stable. So this is our uh, transition table or excitation table. Then we should check for the stability. Look at here. If present state, this is the present state. Next state, this is the next state. If present state and next state both are equal, then we can say that it is stable. And the stable entries are represented by a circle. So stable entries are represented by circle. So zero zero equal to present state equal to next state. This is present. This is next state. Both are equal. So I circled. So this is another. This is both are not equal. So it is not circled. This is equal, so it is circled. Like that, you fill up this in zero, one, 
what is equal 0 1 is equal press in this state in this state both are equal so i circled here here also i circled here 1 0 1 0 1 0 is equal so circled 1 1 here it is not 1 1 so it is not circled 1 1 circled 1 1 circled like that it completely filled this and this is called uh, excitation or transition table now uh, y this arrow uh, y this arrow and the remaining is state table and the, those things i'll uh, discuss in the next section part 2